Hey y'all, this is Carly and I am back with another haul video. So as I mentioned in the last video, this is kind of all in the same day and I'm just trying to run through a ton of haul videos that I'm behind on. So you're going to see the same outfit and hair and everything quite a few times probably, but I am just trying to crank out some of these videos. So hopefully y'all don't mind. So the haul that I have right now is from Wonderberry Wax. This is my first order from Wonderberry. Um, a lot of these hauls are going to be kind of first orders from vendors that I've been waiting forever to try. So I am really excited to get these hauls done so I can actually start melting because everything has been sitting there in the box waiting for me to haul. So I'm going to start out with the samples that I got. So the first one is in Cotton Candy Spells. And I believe all of the actual wax that I purchased has scent descriptions on it. I do not have scent descriptions for the samples that I received. I think. Maybe I can get this to come out. Maybe. There we go. This is really good. I definitely get cotton candy. And I don't know if I'm imagining it because of the spells part. But I think this may have love spell. Like cotton candy and love spell. That's really good though. It's really, really sweet. Really a sweet kind of like candy scent. So that will be good. Probably for bedtime is when I'd be most likely to melt that. And the other sample that I got is in these adorable little ice cream cones. I absolutely love those. I don't think I've ever seen that mold before. And this is an lavender blackberry ice cream. And there may be a little bit of crinkling in this video from the packaging. I do apologize, but I can't really already have everything laid out when I'm doing videos in front of the camera. Ooh, this is really good. I get a really sweet blackberry right off the bat. And then just a little bit of a sweet lavender. This is actually amazing. I would definitely buy this in, uh, in one of their bags if I saw it offered. This is really, really good. I think this is actually one of my favorites, like, out of everything that I ordered. It's been so long since I smelled this stuff. It's kind of like smelling it for the first time. That one is really, really good. I would definitely recommend this one if you like blackberry and lavender. It's really sweet and creamy and really good. I am going to dive right into what I ordered now. So, the first one that I have is in these adorable little hearts in the scent Sugar Bear. And you can tell by the pour dates on this, April 20th, that I've had this for quite a while. But Sugar Bear is Pink Sugar and Gummy Bears. And again, I'm so sorry for the crinkle as I open these, but there's just not enough room around me to already have everything out of the packaging if I do it like a front-facing video, which I'll seem to like. So, take one out and show you the little shape gorgeous with the glitter i can take or leave glitter i know that some people absolutely love it and some people hate it it is kind of annoying to clean out of the warmer but it's also really pretty so i'm kind of indifferent it doesn't affect whether or not i purchase let me actually smell the bag instead of i definitely get pink sugar and then there's like a tangy sweet candy scent from that gummy bear and i would say it's pretty even if you like pink sugar i think that you would love this it's a really, really nice blend of like pink sugar and then a really sweet kind of tangy candy note. So I'm really loving this one. Again, this is something that I think I would be most likely to melt at nighttime because of that pink sugar. I just kind of associate that with being a nighttime blend, but I think that you could definitely also melt this at any time during the day whenever it would be a great scent. Going to try to get the seal back up and keep moving along. I'm sorry. I know that some people hate crinkly videos. It doesn't bother me personally, but I know that it bothers some people. So I apologize if that's killing you right now. Again, I have watermelon bomb pop. And I think this wasn't the one, but there was one that I placed my order and then I went back in and grabbed one other one because I decided that I couldn't live without it, but this wasn't it. This is Bomb Pop blended with Juicy Watermelon, and Bomb Pop is just kind of that classic scent that a lot of different vendors have, and I'm pretty sure it's like a cherry, blue raspberry, citrus type thing is what I think that it is, but don't quote me on that. And this one is just kind of these little flower sun like starburst shapes and again two tone their wax is so pretty this is so cute the designs and the glitter and this one is strong i can smell it even from like holding it out here really really strong i get the bomb pop 
I think Bomb Pop might even be a little bit fizzy because I feel like I'm getting just a tiny bit of fizz from this one. I would say I get the Bomb Pop more than the, than the watermelon, but you can definitely smell the watermelon. So if you're not a watermelon lover, you probably wouldn't love this one. But that one is really nice. And I'm actually just going to set this on top of the bag and keep going so that y'all don't have to hear the maximum amount of crinkling in this video. This next one is Cake Pops, and this is in the same kind of little shape as the last one. This is wedding cake, birthday cake, cream cheese frosting, marshmallow cream, whipped cream, and vanilla bean noel. So that is a mouthful, but a delicious sounding mouthful in my opinion. And I didn't used to really go for any straight bakery, but now that fall is coming and now that I have a kitchen that has a warmer in it, now that I'm in a house, I always like to uh, melt bakery in the kitchen and sometimes in the bedroom. So here's that one. Again, two-tone, super cute. And this is so good. This is honestly one of my favorites from the whole order. And I used to not ever order these kind of cake and icing type scents because I thought they would all smell the same. And like, oh, that's a pretty basic scent. But it's not. This one is so good. And you can smell so many different things in this. Those different cakes. What is this supposed to have? Wedding cake, birthday cake, different types of frosting. This is so good. This is such a decadent, rich, delicious bakery scent. It's not heavy, heavy, like a butter brickle or a pumpkin pecan waffles or anything. It's kind of more of lighter bakery scents, but it's a ton of them, and it's definitely straight bakery. So if you're not a bakery lover, probably not for you. You really get that marshmallow in there. It's so sweet. It's so creamy. I am in love with that one. I would definitely, definitely repurchase that one. See, the next one is Volcano Taffy. And since I never ordered before, I just kind of went off the most popular scents as far as what I ordered as well as just what sounded good. This one is Volcano Type, which is sugared citrus and tropical fruits and sweet saltwater taffy. And I know that taffy is kind of one of those of the moment scents that everybody has been loving lately. I don't know if it's like that every summer or not because this is my first summer kind of being into wax. I didn't get into wax. Well, I guess I did in June last year, but I wasn't really in all the Facebook groups yet or, um, or purchasing nearly as much as I am now. So I'm not sure if it's kind of an every year thing or what, but here is that one. The side. This one is good. This, this is fruity, but it's not like a really zesty fruity. It's kind of like a mellow, really well blended fruity. And you get... You know, I don't think I'm, like, adept yet at actually smelling the actual saltwater taffy and things. So, I'm not going to say that I smell saltwater taffy. But there is just a really kind of sweetness to this that I think is from that taffy. So, you get, like, the fruity, really well blended, you know, just kind of fruits note. And then you get, like, a really sweet, almost kind of similar to a marshmallow, but with more of, more flavor to it. So that one's really nice. I'm excited to melt that one. Let me smell the bag and see if it gives me any further inside. I'm just trying not to crinkle too much. Yeah, I get the same. It's just a really kind of mellow, creamed out, fruity scent with some sweetness, almost like a marshmallow, but with more flavor to it, like I said. So excited to melt that one. Here is the next one in Dream Fluff Donuts. Again, that same shape. And this one is glazed donuts, strawberry white cake, cotton candy, and key lime glaze. Can you tell that I placed this order at the beginning of summer when I was ready for all of the summer scents? It's kind of funny because now that I'm getting all these things out of the boxes and stuff, I'm ready for fall. But, <laughs> but this is nice because it's still going to be summer for a while here in Texas. So I will have some new goodies to melt now that I've gotten all of these out of hiding. There's that one. From the side with that two-tone. This one is nice. I get that key lime glaze, I think it was, right off the top. Kind of like a zesty key lime note. I don't know. That's kind of all I'm getting on. It's a really nice scent, but I'm primarily getting that key lime glaze. I really don't get any bakery from this too much. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit. But if you're not a bakery lover, I think you could still love this one. If you like key lime and strawberry, I think is the other thing that I'm getting. If you like key lime and strawberry, based on what I'm smelling on cold, I think that you would like this one on warm. You may get some more of that bakery, so excited to melt. As with all of these, 
This next one is Luau, and these are in really cute, uh, neat, clean little square shapes. This one is mango, papaya, sea salt, and agave. That sounds really good. I know that sea salt and salty sea air and all of those things are also really big right now, so I apologize again for the crinkling. Hopefully, it's not too, too bad. So there's that one, and then from the side... This one is nice. This one screams summer more so than any of these other ones to me. You definitely get the saltiness. You get that sea salt. I'm not familiar enough with agave to, to be able to pick that out or really know if that's in there. But I definitely get like that fruity tropical mango papaya with that saltiness from the sea salt. And that one's really, really nice. This one screams summer. This one screams being on the beach. And I'm really, really excited to melt that one while there is some summer left. The last one that I have, this is the one that I went back in for because she does combine shipping. And this is Watermelonita, I think. Yeah, Watermelonita. And I just decided, I already had a watermelon scent, but this one just sounded too good. So this one is Watermelon Lime Margarita with a Honeydew Melon Ball Garnish. And I just, I mean, a margarita scent in the summer. I don't know how you can pass that up. And this is really nice because now that I'm getting into these things again, after them just kind of sitting in boxes for so long, they're already well cured. Like I said, these were cured in April. We're sitting here in July. So it's been at least two or three months of cure time. These are totally ready to go, which is really exciting. There's that one. Two-tone with that blue. And this smells like a margarita. Again, you get a little bit of like saltiness. Just a little bit. I get lime, I think, and the watermelon. This smells really, really good. I think this will probably be the first one that I go and pop in the warmer. And I think for each one of these shapes, I would just put the whole shape in the warmer. Because if you can see in my hand, this isn't too, too big. I might cut it in half and put half in each of like my two living room warmers. But I may also just put one entire shape in each of the warmers to make sure that it's enough because this is pretty small. If you can see how big of a scent shot is this. This is one and a half ounces. So this is an extra one and a half ounce scent shot. It's way thinner if you can see. And it's also quite a bit smaller like in circumference. So I think I would cut this in half to put in the two warmers. But I think I would just put a whole shape in the warmer of this. So that is it for my first Wonderberry haul. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave any comments, questions, suggestions, any of that down below. I would love to talk to y'all down in the comments and I will see you very soon in another video. Have a great day. Thanks y'all. Bye.